So, exactly who are you going to call? The original Ghostbusters or the new Ghostbusters? Personally, I'd probably call Sam and Dean, but that's not what this one's about. New Ghostbusters. Um, this movie stars uh, Melissa McCarthy and it stars Christine Wing. And it has Kate McKinnon and uh, Leslie Jones. These are your four horsemen of the new Ghostbusters series. Uh, the, the movie wasn't terrible. Everybody was waiting for it to be horrible. I was kind of hoping that it was going to be great. Uh, it also has uh, Neil Cassidy, who... You know, keep an eye on him. He wasn't bad. And uh, Chris Helmsworth plays the, 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 instead of the damsel in distress, he's kind of the dude in distress. And he is also uh, almost the villain, sort of. I'm, I don't want to give too much away, but he's kind of the villain. Um, it was great out of the blocks. It came out of the block strong, and I'm like, okay, yeah, wow, this might be great. Wow, my phone's ringing. And then I was like, you know what? After about 15 minutes, I was like, this might be a better movie if they had different actresses in it. They could they could do the whole, you know, these are just women doing the same thing, and it would have been good. But I think maybe a different choice of actress. I think they went with these women um, because they thought that they were, were popular, perhaps, as opposed to... Um, just really funny, you know? Um, Kate McKinnon plays the, the zany one, and she's kind of sort of playing Egon's place. You know, the smart nerd It's building everything for everybody. Egon was a little bit, you know, he was brilliant. He was a little bit out of touch with reality. And, and Kate McKinnon plays, it's kind of sort of playing the Egon part in this new movie. And I think she she over exaggerated the zany she was just too zany she was just doing too much she was on team too much she was just in people's face and doing crazy things and i i watched it and i was like you know i, I think she was on 10 she should have been on like six it would have been funnier and she was zany every single time they put her on screen she did something or said something that was bizarre if you do it every once in a while it's okay you know it catches your attention but if you're doing it over and over and over and over and over then maybe uh, maybe not so much they did um, a lot of the classic throwbacks to the original movie they, they did a lot of them there were well, of course they had the symbol in there I mean that was in a preview you saw that um, but they did a lot of things. If you watch, there's a there's a crap load of things that throw back as if they were saying, you know, this movie's good, but we want to remind you guys, this is actually a remake of a movie that was friggin' outstanding, you know, didn't make a billion dollars at the box office, but it's a classic. It's a big time classic and everything. Um, special guest star appearances by some of the original cast. I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say what they did, whatever. You go see the movie, you check it out. But yeah, throwbacks to the originals, they were in the movie too. Um, I'd say out of all of the jokes and the humor in the movie, about 90% of it seemed forced. It seemed like they were, you know, they were sitting there waiting for their cue and they were like, okay, wait, wait, here, here, here uh, why did chicken cross the road? And I'm like, oh, wow. That, that seemed kind of forced. That seemed like, it seemed like you were just sitting there waiting for the chance to say that joke. 
And then you kind of look at the audience like, right, right, the chicken <laughs> across the road. Nothing? No one? Bueller? Bueller? It was bad um, as far as those jokes. The storyline was pretty good. The story made sense. The storyline was good. The only thing that I really didn't dig was in the previews, right? On the, on the commercial previews and everything, they're like, you know, 30 years later, you know, a new team arises. And I guess it's 30 years, our time and not movie time, because nobody in the movie knew about the original Ghostbusters. There were no original Ghostbusters. These were the guys. That was them. They were the Ghostbusters, period. There was nobody before them. And, um, kind of got their name by accident, really. Um, everything was, well, not everything, but most everything in the movie was bigger than the original. A lot of times when they remake a movie, they're like, you know what? That guy shot three people in the last movie, so let's shoot six in this one. It's bigger. People like that. Not necessarily what made it a good movie. I mean, if you remade Rocky and he knocked out like, you know, five guys instead of three, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a better movie. So with this one, they made everything bigger. The ghosts were bigger. And I mean, like in their stature, they were actually bigger. They're, they had more contact with more ghosts. They were mixing it up with more ghosts. Um, but... It didn't. It didn't grab me as like the catalyst for a great movie. It was just I was like, wow, there's definitely more ghosts. That that happened. Um, it took a few new directions in the movie. So I mean, that was that was kind of cool. But you know, oh, let me say this. Stay for the end. There is an Easter egg. Now they're gonna like. While the things are rolling, they're going to do something during that time, but don't leave until the lights come on because there is an Easter egg. And honestly, I think the Easter egg at the end of it, um, which kind of gave an idea that they might be working on a second one, the Easter egg at the end was probably the biggest aha moment in the entire movie. I mean, the movie was okay. You know, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it like a seven you know maybe even a seven and a quarter but that aha moment you know just that aha moment by itself was like an eight and a half because i was like oh that sounds interesting that that looks like something i'd like to see so there's that so essentially what happens the, the basis of the movie without giving too much away the basis of the movie is um the girls almost one by one come together for whatever reason to to combat the ghosts um, two of them are already kind of working on a problem they they kind of know about it one of them uh, is involved in it you know one of the ghosts comes into her life so she needs to bond with these other girls and another one is kind of mad at something that happened in her past and she ends up with the team too and um, they get together and, you know, the, the Kate McKinnon character has already got like a crap ton of weapons and devices made. You know, I guess just in case she ever encountered a ghost or whatever, but she's got all of this stuff made already. And they get together and they start on the trail, almost like sleuths, almost like detectives. They're working their way through a case and then they're like, oh my goodness, it's bigger than we thought. And then they've got a, you know, sort of like a throwback to the old movie. The, the, the governor is involved, right? And um, he's, I don't want to give it away, but he's involved in it. And he pulls him into his office, just like the old movie. It's a lot of like a throwback to the original movie. But they, um, they have to get together. And fight the ghosts. They got to beat the ghosts back, you know, to wherever it was they came from. And they come up with a good solution. 
sort of, it was kind of convenient, but it was a good solution, and they come up with a solution, and they got to try to use it in order to get the ghosts out of the city before they spread all over the world. And that's, that's basically it. You know, they got the ability to do it. They've got a cause. They've got a reason. Boom, let's be Ghostbusters. Why the heck not? So, see the movie. If you've seen it, let's talk about it. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and say like on the, on there and uh, let's talk. Let's chat right down here. Click my face. should be at the bottom of the screen, but if it's not, there should be a red subscribe right up under here. Subscribe and then like or don't like. I'm going to start doing a 1 through 10 on all of the movies. 1 through 10.